For the past two weeks of construction of the center, construction workers have been pile driving wooden beams into the ground and causing headaches for students and faculty close by. Our Elizabeth Kentliner spoke with students and faculty who are irritated with the noise. Each time a pile is hammered into the ground, a strong vibration can be felt, distracting many students and faculty. Freshman Catherine Bain lives in West and expressed her annoyance with the construction. It was very distracting to almost feel your entire room shake as you hear a noise, so it's a little unnerving. Bain used Facebook to share her displeasure. Her Facebook status read, Please stop shaking my room. I appreciate your hard work, but it's a bit unnerving and distracting to feel my desk chair shake with every pulse. Students are not the only ones affected by the vibrations. Jana Anderson, an associate professor in the School of Communications, sent an email to her students saying she may be moving her office. They still have more than 100 pilings still to, to pile drive down into the ground. So when they're driving them, it is really irritating. Uh, so I did send out an email to my students saying that I'm, you might not find me here on office hours. Even as we interviewed Anderson in her office, the camera shook and the mic picked up booms as beams were driven into the ground. Anderson says that she is not concerned with the noise, but with the safety of the students. I'm very concerned about students who are crossing toward the ACORN and uh, worried about whether or not the traffic is going to be slowing down and paying attention. The provost recently sent an email urging students to cross at the designated crosswalk at the light on Williamson Avenue and not to cross right in front of ACORN. However, many students continue to cross in the middle of the road, increasing the risk of an accident. Elizabeth Cantlener, Phoenix 14 News. An email sent by the provost's office says the pile driving should be completed by Sunday. We spoke with Amy Vaughn in Res Life today and she says no students have asked to be moved in light of the construction.